In order to understand living things at their most basic level, we must understand what they are made out of, atoms. In this short video, I'll talk about the basic structure and properties of an atom. The atom is the basic unit of all matter in the universe, including all life. The typical atom is made up of three different subatomic particles, each with different characteristics. The proton is one such particle. It has a definite mass, and it also has a positive electric charge. You could remember this because P stands for positive and for proton. The proton is found in the core of the atom, and this region is known as the nucleus. It shares this space with neutrons, depicted here as yellow spheres. Neutrons also have a mass, in fact, about the same mass as a proton does, but they do not have an electric charge. They can change the size or the overall mass of an atom, but will not affect the overall charge. The final part of an atom that we'll consider is an electron. They are not found in the nucleus, but rather orbit or occupy the space that surrounds the nucleus. The electron has virtually no mass, but it does have an electric charge. The charge on a single electron is the same magnitude as the charge on a proton, but it is negative instead of positive. You could remember this because the second letter of negative is an E, which also stands for electron. Electrons surround the nucleus, forming a sort of cloud that shields the nucleus of an atom from the outside and from other atoms. When atoms interact, they do so through their electron clouds. Only a certain number of electrons can occupy this cloud or orbit. If more electrons are present or need to be associated with the atom, a larger orbit or cloud is required. Atoms can differ in the number and arrangement of these subatomic particles. Atoms with a certain number of protons are given specific names. These are considered elements. The number of protons an element has is also known as the atomic number. Atoms from the same element can have different numbers of neutrons or different numbers of electrons. Here, a normal atom of the element hydrogen, with one proton and no neutron, is depicted alongside two hydrogen isotopes. An isotope is an element or an atom of an element with more or less neutrons. Note that these isotopes will not differ in their charge, only in their mass, because they have different numbers of neutrons. Most normal atoms will also have an equal number of protons and electrons. Atoms of an element with different numbers of electrons, either more or less electrons than they have protons, are known as ions. In the hydrogen atom depicted on this slide, the positive charge of the proton is canceled out by the negative charge of the electron. This atom has no overall charge. Ions, which have an imbalance in the number of protons and electrons, will have a net charge and will act as charged particles. The different elements that are found in nature can be arranged in a table, which is known as the periodic table of elements. I'm showing here only a small section of the table, since it is too large to show on this slide in great detail. Usually, this table will list both the atomic number and the average atomic mass of each element. 
Notice how the atomic number is always a whole number, since that number actually defines the element. In other words, any atom with six protons is considered a carbon atom by definition. The atomic mass, however, is an average of naturally occurring isotopes. Each row of the periodic table represents elements and atoms with larger and a larger electron cloud surrounding each element. For example, carbon and fluorine atoms have about the same size electron cloud, although it is more crowded in a typical fluorine atom. Sodium, on the other hand, has even more electrons and requires an even larger electron cloud. The increased number of electrons matches the increased number of protons for each atom. And as mentioned before, the number of electrons usually balance the number of protons in an atom. However, electrons can only fit into certain orbitals and more orbitals are required for atoms with an increasing number of protons.